There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Boys and girls, Mr. Warmack is in the building. So, let's go at this again. I'm here to give you another video, as you can tell. I'm doing another run of videos, um, like I said. Got my uh, fourth shirt swag on, you know. So I'm on this one's a, this video was a question I like was sent to me. Like you guys can send questions to me. I think I have my links on the bottom here. Like people say, well, why don't you put describe what your video is talking about? Because most of the time, if you read my title, my title gives you a general idea of what I'm talking about. Or or what I do is sometimes I might put a link of where I found the article that I found interesting. And I start talking about it. You know what I mean? But. Today we're going to take a question. I took a question from a subscriber. They asked me, how do I deal with idiots and assholes? Now, unfortunately, with a lot of these people, I have to let idiots and assholes to a certain degree slide. Now, that being said, this don't mean that you come and fucking smack me around or hit me or something because you're going to get dealt with. I'm just saying, sometimes people are like like, like, like trolls on YouTube. You have, to, you have to pretend like they're trolls on YouTube. They can say whatever you want to say. Like, I got comments, I got, like, on, I'll use YouTube, like I said, I'm using that as an example. I got comments that I didn't like. I got comments, you know, dropping shit, you know, call me everything outside of a child of God, this, that, and the fifth. But at the end of the day, it's YouTube. I have to look at it at that. That's their opinion. If I put a video up here, if I put myself out in the forefront, unfortunately, I have to deal with the consequences. Now, I'm prepared to do that because at the end of the day, I walk on my own, too, and I'm a man at the end of the day. I gotta quit saying that because, like, now everybody's gonna start saying it. But, uh, that's how I deal with a lot of these folks. And that's how I, in real life, in real, I talk shit back. Like, I don't mind talking shit. You can ask people who know me, people I work with. I don't mind talking shit. But, what I find most disheartening is, is when you really find a motherfucker, like, I've been in a situation where I'll use, I'll give you a good example. I was at one time on surgery. I had, um, I had, uh, I'm not going to describe the surgery because it might describe a little bit too much. You know, I might go a little in depth about something else. But I had surgery. I was out for like three months. And uh, what happened was, a couple dudes, well, this one dude in particular, was popping off. I ain't going to say where. If you, if you read into it, people in another situation will know. He was popping off. And what it was, he, when I was going from, well, okay, it was at the spot. But what it was is he was popping off. And I, I, now I, now I thought, first of all, I talked to this dude, I mean, I, we weren't cool or nothing, but I, knew, I didn't think we were, it was like that between us, so, what happened was, I knew he popped off, because here's how it is, he played himself out, he went around, and like, he didn't know I had like three people had my number, and they told me, and it was three people who didn't know each other, so I was like, alright, so, I got the word, I took, like, I was going to get shit addressed. And like the one I told I told this one dude, well, you let it be known. I'm gonna address it. I'm on I'm on man to man, mono to mono. See what's going on. And so like at the, end of, at the end of the day, sorry about that. I just like that saying, as you can tell. Situation kind of got addressed. Like there's so much you can really do without you know because the motherfuckers. What you'll find on your workplace and like a lot of you people will find this. A lot of people are like Superman and Superwoman, you know, they're like they're Captain Marvel, Wonder Woman. They're like the toughest thing since like sliced bread at work. But when you take them outside in them four walls, them four walls become like, four walls are the fucking, you know, Superman's palace. Outside them four walls are like, you know, kryptonite. All of a sudden they get all Clark Kennish on you, they turn into like Peter Parker, all clumsy, you know, hey, how you doing? And you're like, no, what the fuck did you just say back there? But in my younger days, I would have handled it different than I do now because I'm much older and I got things going on now. Like, even if I didn't have things going on, it ain't worth it because now you can go to jail or prison from some of this shit. Back in the day, you you could bang it out, do whatever. You maybe get a, little, like, a couple days in jail, find this and a third. But now with all these fucking pussies and pansies out here, you might get you might get you might get sent to camp for a minute. And I don't have time for that at my age. Because if I get sent to camp for a minute. I'm just gonna make a career out of it after I get out, so you just gotta overlook this stuff. I mean, I tell people all the time, there's people that don't well, aren't always gonna like you. Now they might even be your own family members, but you gotta deal with that. But here's what you a lot of people you people have too much faith in people. 
I only put faith in the people who I know that I can trust, the ones who haven't let me down. Like, if you, if, I mean, let me down. Like, if you can't do something, you say, hey, I can't do it. You can't do it. I'm not, I'm not talking about, you know, that type of shit. I'm talking about people who, like, didn't bail out on me when the shit got rough. Because life, I still, like I tell you, I still have people in the struggle. I'm not in the other that one struggle, but I'm in the life struggle now. So at the end of the day, I can feel all these folks. So how I deal with idiots and assholes, I just ignore them because, I, like I said, my age, I don't have time to deal with that. Like, like, but like I said, it don't mean you get a free pass to take a swing on me because you can if you want to. But you're gonna learn. So I hope this helps out. I'm out of here. It was. That's it. That's him.